In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure the steps in the cardholder enrollment process. In other tutorials, you will learn how to connect to databases and configure the record screen. In this simple, but common, setup we type personal information. Then capture a photo. And print an ID card. Many other options are available. Let's configure some. First, we assign global settings for the cardholder group. Click the Properties button on the main menu. Select the Enrollment tab. We can initialize default values in some additions. Here we'll initiate the enrollment date field with the current date and time. We can perform duplicate record checks. You define the matching criteria. When the new first and last name or last name and date or birth fields match a record from the database, the existing matched record will be presented. When a match is found, you choose to add a new record, use the existing record or merge new information over old information. ID Flow can use optical character recognition to scan a license, passport or business card. Click Configure. Align the scanner fields with the database fields. An auto matching tool is provided. To configure photo acquisition, we must know which field will store the photo. In some editions, photos can be stored to files instead. Designate a folder to store the images and use data fields to create the naming convention. Then tell us which field will hold the automatically generated file name and path. Configure Signature Capture and Fingerprint Capture in the same manner as Photo Capture. In the Access Control Edition, ID Flow can create an account in your Access Control System and issue activated access cards. Select your access system. Jolly's Access Manager will allow you to establish a secure connection, in this example to Lenel's Data Conduit. Click the Badge Printing tab. To create card printing rules, name the rule and click in the parameters frame. Then click the ellipsis button. Create a filter where photo field is not value blank. Now, a badge won't be printed if the record has no photo. Record fields can be updated after a card is printed. Choose the field to update. We'll increment the times badge printed field by a fixed value of 1. ID Flow will let you know if you've left any selected features unconfigured and which ones. We've finished creating the enrollment process for this cardholder group. Other cardholder groups can have different enrollment processes. Next, we'll configure this workstation's enrollment steps and devices. Click Setup. Select Configure Workstation Settings. And click the Enrollment Task link. Enable the steps and configure. Choose your camera. Select Microsoft WDM for web cameras and Canon EOS Jolly for Canon SLR cameras. Download add-on modules for cameras and scanning devices from JollyTech.com. The Jolly camera add-on will allow you to use Canon flash cameras and our auto-cropping feature. This tool requires .NET and is only available for some editions. You may also find Logitech drivers here as well as the module for supporting driver's license and passport scanning. If the Jolly Camera module is installed, you can decide how images are automatically cropped. Choose the Width-Height Ratio. Choose the Crop Box Tightness. Select your printer.
Finally, disable steps you won't use on this workstation. We're now ready to enroll cardholders and issue ID cards. To finish enrollment on existing records, click Find Record. Then click Run Enrollment for the step-by-step -step process. Thank you for viewing our enrollment tutorial.